Dealer advertising is a critical tool to distinguish your store from your competitors and to effectively market your inventory to consumers. Some dealers use humor to convey their message and others take the direct factual approach. Every ad strategy must follow at least one common denominator, New Jersey's Motor Vehicle Advertising Regulations, which are maintained and enforced by the New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs. The full regulations can be found on the division's website, njconsumeraffairs.gov. The regulations speak to numerous important technical issues such as font size and visibility, the volume and speed of delivery for broadcast ads, and many more. The regulations also cover what must be included in the text of every print ad, radio or TV commercial, or internet ad, and what claims can and cannot be included in your dealership's advertising. The New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs has expressed concerns about dealerships' compliance with New Jersey's advertising regulations. Eric T. Konefsky, the division's acting director, has reaffirmed the division's ongoing commitment to devote substantial division resources to enforce the regulations. We here at the New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs are working to identify the most serious problems and potential violations found in dealer advertising. We are developing ways to educate dealers, such as through this video in partnership with NJ Carr, about their compliance obligations. But let me be clear, education does not take the place of enforcement. We will continue to take decisive action when the division receives a complaint about a dealership's failure to abide by New Jersey's law and regulations. When we hold dealers accountable, it's not just the consumers who benefit. Some retailers may skirt New Jersey's regulations to gain an unfair advantage over their competitors who do everything by the book. Our enforcement actions help put a stop to that and help provide a level playing field for the entire industry. Make no mistake, if caught, the division will not allow dealerships to profit from breaking the law. There are some rules in particular that the New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs wants to reinforce based on recent concerns. For example, dealers must be aware that the advertising regulations apply to the internet, just as they do to any other medium. Motor vehicle advertising posted online must comply with all the rules, no different than if the ad appears in print, on television, or on the radio. Dealers must also be fully aware of the regulations regarding advertising prices. It is a violation to advertise a motor vehicle for sale at a price that includes a required down payment, trade allowance, or any other deduction than a dealer discount and a manufacturer's rebate. Additionally, dealers should never advertise a price that is based on discount or rebate combinations that are either mutually exclusive or impossible to achieve. And it is critical that an advertised vehicle sold during the term of the ad must never be sold for more than the advertised price. The Division of Consumer Affairs noted that such practices constitute bait and switch and are a serious violation. The Division is working with NJ Carr on an upcoming educational seminar that will focus on New Jersey's advertising rules and regulations. Investigators from the New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs and representatives of NJ Carr will discuss common mistakes and advertising approaches that may cross the line. We strongly encourage you to come to this seminar and learn how to keep your business in full compliance with New Jersey's laws and regulations. NJ Carr has heard from the Division of Consumer Affairs about dealer advertising concerns, but the Coalition also receives calls from other dealers about their competitors' ads and questions about what they can and can't include in their own advertising. From newspaper to radio, television to online, advertising allows a dealership to communicate its message to its intended audience. It is important that everyone play by the rules that are enforced by the New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs. It is good for consumers and good for the industry at large. In Jay Carr, thought you should know.